that ability to to reach out to you with confidence but also be genuine like you don't have to respond yeah. i understand i'm taking some of yeah. your time yeah. but man this is my ask and if you say yes or have a follow-up then i think you can anticipate how people will express like gratitude yeah. there's not an entitlement to it it's mm -hmm. Like I'm in a position right now, I don't have a lot to offer other than genuine interest in being someone that works, you know, closely with you. I really think that, like in the interviewing, I just don't know how people do it today. Like, but the interviewing and kind of putting a resume out there, I think, I think that strategy of just doing that, you could go to almost any CEO here in town and do a really genuine like outreach directly, and you would be surprised what kind of result you'd get from people that if you did that. I, I had a friend that came to town about five years ago, where he was working for that um, refugee group, it's called, I can't remember the name of it, but it's, they do all the international, uh, IRC, they do uh, international rescue, like committee mm -hmm. or something. He came to town as a 22 year old from Arizona, reached out on LinkedIn to every CEO in town and said, I want your help to me mentor refugees. I was one among that list, Jeremy Andrus, Davis Smith, all some of the, some of the who's who in town, not me, I'm not in that list, but, but Jeremy of Traeger and Skull Candy at the time and Davis, go to Paxi, every one of them responded to him. Like most of the people he reached out to, this 22 year old responded and ended up mentoring refugees. And now he created a relationship with like 20. He would go, he goes to dinner and lunches and breakfast with the 20 who's who of Utah from a 22 year old out of state or came into town because he re reached out genuinely with an awesome opportunity for DCOs to mentor refugees that were trying to just get a business off the ground. And uh, and I just think about that. Like if he wanted a job with any of those places, he could have had it too. He, he's that type of person. So it's like that whole, knowing how to reach out, be genuine, say something different than the rest of the world's saying yeah. to it, right, and go right to the top. You'd be surprised at the responses you can, you can get. And so I think the whole kind of going through the higher process of like the open job position on the website and stuff is throw that out the, throw that out the window, yes. try something different, go right to, go right to the, person uh, in charge bring them something that that they realize like this is like bring an analysis of what you think you could do that, that you saw something that they were kind of not doing right or something anything just shock them and and be genuine about it and you'll you'll get a response you know we're, we don't see are busy but we, we can re, we can read a, a we, I think we get excited to see that generation coming up and being uh, uh, assertive in that type of way and genuine and trying something different. That's, that's what we want in our organization. So if we see that in someone on the outside, we'll probably pull them in. Yeah. I'm so glad you said that because going back to mentoring, inevitably it will get to that, well, how do I place resumes or kind of that, that tr you know, old school way of doing it. And I'll be like, don't. Yeah. I said, um, I have a blueprint for how I do outreach and, you know, my background's in broadcast a master's in, in public relations. I'm not technically a marketer mm -hmm. by trade. Mm -hmm. I am a communication specialist. Mm -hmm. And so my go-to has always been start picking up the phone and asking if you could do just this. Yeah. Can I have 30 minutes of your time? I would love to ask you some questions about yourself, your history. Start doing that within companies. Yeah. You know, key individuals in companies that you would want to work for. Yeah. That's a way better way to be top of mind than to submit a resume that's going to go into a pile. 100%. Even if it's a podcast, even if you start a podcast that has no listeners and you just exactly. say, I've got a, I have a, I have a podcast that tries to get from the CEOs the one, the best lesson they learned in their youth. Mm -hmm. that make them the, like that's, that's just the whole purpose of the podcast. And people, people respond. CEOs like to talk to them. I like to hear myself talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's how we are. We're like that. So you, 30 minutes you, of talking about me. You give a CEO a chance to talk about themselves. Yeah. You're going to be as a 22 year old with a mic, the, any CEO here in Utah at least, Getting yeah. some, getting them to tell them one lesson to the next generation, and you know what? After you do that, you're probably gonna, you're probably gonna be able to do some small talk with that person, and and uh, if you want a job at that company, I, you're got a much better chance after interviewing the CEO, asking him questions, than you do putting your list, uh, your resume in a list of four thousand other people. So. Yeah, and following up with them with, yep. could you introduce me to the next person yep. I need to talk to? Yep. Like it just. It 10Xs your efforts, yep. and it does it in a way that's genuine. You're creating, again, it goes oh, back and, to and that, like. it's free. Like, it's free. It's free. I mean, yeah. maybe $20 to syndicate it across, you know, a few different. You're uh, literally collaborating. Free. Like, you're co-creating content yeah. in the moment. 10 times out of 10, it's worked for me. And I, and I want to know that stuff. I want to know what what's what one key thing that, you know, yeah. Jeremy Anders thinks that, you know, helps him now that he can learn, he would have learned in his youth. Whatever the question is that you make up. Those are things we want to know. That's content. And he wants that's to share it. Exactly. 
So I feel like it's an offer that so is good. mutually beneficial, even though I, a lot of my students have said, I feel like I'm in a position where I'm asking, but I can't give. Yeah. I'm like, you would no. be surprised. But the only problem is now if like a thousand students go and do that, <laughs> every student is going to be like, what is this new spam? What is happening Who, here? What did Gary Vaynerchuk say? That's this right. Ruining our lives. Gary V. Because <laughs> he, 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 he seems Everything to have tra- 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 something somehow. But mm-hmm. to the point that like you can, you can organize a way to get an introduction in a way that is is powerful yeah. for for the recipient yeah. who's well immersed in his craft, has all these years of experience where you're like, I get hundreds of messages per day, yeah. but this one stood out because they yeah. weren't do they weren't just like, hey, I'm really expert at this, this, and this. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, hi, yeah. can I talk to you? Yeah. It's about different. you? Yeah. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. It feels about nice. You, yeah. It's almost- 